Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com and my very first video from my brand new filming studios. So I'm the one that does videos on every machine, on every page of the manual. And today we are starting the videos, over a hundred of them, on the Bernina 570 Quilters Edition plus the optional embroidery unit. So if you are looking to purchase this machine in the future, these videos would be great to kind of just realize what all comes with the machine, how it's used, and some of my favorite features. If you have this machine, these videos are gonna be great because we're gonna take you into every corner of the machine with nice, short, and sweet segments that allow you to go back and review them at any time. Now, we also have links below where you can check out some of our Bernina online courses that would be perfect for you to master this machine even more. We have our Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course, which is over 25 different sewing techniques and 18 of those wonderful Bernina presser feet. And now the new Bernina Embroidery Essentials course with all new videos filmed on a Bernina embroidery machine. So if you still have this part in the box and you haven't opened it yet, this is the course that's gonna help you master your embroidery side of your Bernina machine. So these videos are short and sweet and you can reference all of them at our sewingmastery.com website. So today we're going to start by actually opening up the machine and the module and seeing everything that comes out of the box in its original state. This is one of my favorite parts because they always smell so fresh and exciting as we open up from the very top. So one of the things that I do notice is that a lot of the accessories are sitting right here on top, so I'll talk about them as I pull them out. The first one on top is the Bernina slide-on table, which I absolutely love for sewing. So you don't have to buy an extra table, but my favorite place to put a Bernina sewing machine is in an actual piece of sewing furniture. So head down to your Bernina store and ask them what they have for sewing tables that can help a lot. Uh, this piece goes with said sewing table, and it's all and ask like, what in the world is it? It's a seam guide. So again, we'll put videos like how to put the table on, how to put the seam guide on, how it can slide to be exactly where you need it to be. I've even been known to put it next to my quarter inch seam allowance. Bernina is known for their freehand system. So this is an option for you to lift and lower the presser foot with your right knee. Now that doesn't run the machine, but it will lift the foot up for you. So if that's something you're used to on say previous machines, that is great. So that's kind of layer one. All right, layer two, your fully printed uh, color manual. It looks like a little uh, helpful CD in here and a Bernina accessory book. So it has all the accessories that you can buy for this machine, which is wonderful, which is what we do in our Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course. And by the way, both of our courses have videos that you can watch for free. You don't even need a login um, just to see if that course is right for you. So we'll be touching base on some of those topics that I, uh, that I want you to watch and just learn more about your machine. And they'll be over in our course. Now, this is the accessory box. I'm gonna show you exactly how to load this up. It's almost like its own little Barbie wardrobe for your accessory feet. So super fun. Uh, that'll be the next video of how and where to place all said accessories. Power cords in here too. Uh, we haven't even gotten down to the machine. Uh, we do have, oh, this machine is set up when it said quilters edition, we're talking about all the quilting feet that you would normally buy for a Bernina sewing machine. It's gonna come packaged in this machine. And one of my favorites is the Bernina stitch regulator. Um, I now do all my own quilting, which when you see pictures close up of the Bernina Stitching Cosmos course quilt, I did quilt it with the Bernina stitch regulator. Love it. Little extra thread is in here. Ooh, what other goodies? Oh, more feet. So again, I'll go in our accessory box. Some extra needles are kind of in here, just on the top. And we are down to the next layer. 
So what's coming out of the box next is the machine, uh, the cover that's going to go over the machine, and a few extra things. So make sure that you realize what else has been tucked down in the box. So first off, this is going to slide out. This is where your foot control is. Just give it a little squeeze, and that will come right out. And yes, it is stuck with the styrofoam, but that's okay. That is great. And then the cord for the foot control is actually wrapped on the underneath side of your foot control, which is great because then you always, you never lose your cord. Everything is nicely taped and covered and protected. That's one thing when uh, these machines are packed up, they are packed with love as they are traveling to their new home at your house. So I mentioned two more things in here. Make sure you pull out this little accessory in the back. That's actually your buttonhole foot. So I'm gonna just set it with my accessories so when we fill up that accessory box, we know where that is. And then this is a beautiful, nice cover with a pocket that will go over the machine for transportation. The handle will come up right through the middle. And if you're one to want more of like a traveling case, Bernina does make a suitcase system that allows you to easily go to your classes with the wheels and not actually have to carry it. So those are really a good idea. So next up, we're going to open up what the embroidery module box has. Now this machine is sold as both a sewing machine or a sewing and embroidery machine. So this is optional if you don't actually have it yet, or if you're buying it as a set, then again, you got two boxes when you went home from the store. I decided to go ahead and plug in the Bernina 570 machine, make sure everything is working. When I turned it on, the only thing it asked me was which language I wanted it to be in. So English is what I picked, but I know there's like 10 different languages that you can select for what is best for you. So now we're ready to open up the embroidery part of this machine. Now, if some of you still have this part in the box, you have got to take a, it out of the box. Let's get it going. Check out the, our free videos that we're gonna be doing on the embroidery side of this machine, plus that Embroidery Essentials online course, again, with all the Bernina videos that we have in it, it is going to help you master every part of the Bernina embroidery side of this machine. So on top, we have a little box of Mettler polishing. You are gonna see me use the Isocord embroidery thread. By the way, Isocord embroidery thread and polishing are identical. Uh, they're just, these are the ones that are on the smaller spool, but you'll notice the color numbers are the same. You also have an option to directly hook this to a computer uh, for transferring designs. Uh, you do also have, ah, this is the most important part. People always forget this. In this little bag, there is a white box. In the white box is the embroidery foot. So the embroidery foot doesn't come with the machine because you only need it if you're doing embroidery, but definitely make sure you find the white box and you can even just put it into your accessory box. And then there's a few other little clips, which we will show you how to put those on the hoop template once we get to the embroidery videos. So there's a couple layers here. Just go ahead and pull out each one. There's kind of a um, two little styrofoams that sit on both sides of the embroidery modules. Go ahead and set those aside. And you can kind of see by where the embroidery arm is positioned. That's if you're going to put it back in the box, that's exactly what you'll need to uh, look for for location there. And really, let's just go ahead and see. That is your embroidery module. Nothing to be scared of, but it definitely is something I know a lot of people haven't taken the time to master. So again, we're opening this box. We're going to come together. I'm going to help you with all the steps along the way for mastering your embroidery side of this machine. Down at the bottom, there are two hoops. We have the Bernina oval hoop, that's the standard hoop. Uh, by the way, that's the hoop that you can do all of our embroidery designs in, in our course. And you also have a, what is considered a medium hoop. Now there's additional hoops that you can purchase for this machine. Just check those out at your local Bernina store. They will help you with uh, being able to do some of the bigger embroidery designs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all this together. We're gonna to start at the beginning. I hope you'll join me 
for over a hundred videos on this beautiful Bernina 570 Quilters Edition with Bernina Stitch Regulator and the Embroidery Unit.